Good morning. How are you guys today on this beautiful Tuesday morning? I know, I know it's Monday again. I didn't leave until late yesterday, so we'll shoot it up video on Tuesday. Just means I have to shoot two videos. How are you guys doing today? I've had an interesting couple of days. First off, farming simulator seems to be all buggy up. Remember I said joystick drift was happening, but I'm like, ah, joystick shift, joystick drift must be happening, but no. The game was just messed up, so I asked Jess to fire up her game. Same thing, it's like, uh oh, they, they, there's a bad update. So I couldn't do as many live streams on the weekend as I was planning on. I could have played different games, but. You weren't in midway, that's for sure. I spent enough. Uh, don't give away my secret. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll turn that off. <laughs> Pedestrian time to cross. So, uh, Monday, yesterday for me, today for you guys. I dropped the truck off at the tire place because we wanted to put eight new winters on and two new steers. Dropped it off and goes, uh, can you leave it with us for a while because it's gonna be a bit before we can get to the truck because we're missing a person today morning. Someone called in sick. I'm like, yeah, I've got a appointment anyway, so I'm like, you want me to give you a call at noon or close to the end of the day? And he goes, end of the day. Okay, after I was done with my eye appointment, I uh, gave them a call and they're like, uh, what time is it? I'm like, four, because we haven't even had time to start yet. Uh, two people called in six so and we're short staff, we just can't get to it. I'm like, okay, I'll come pick it up. It's like, we rebook it for like next weekend for Saturday and I'm like sure for the uh, eight uh, winter tires sure but for the steers uh, no I'm finding somewhere else to get new steers I'm like I had it planned out the steers were getting right down to the limit but I'm like I'm gonna push them a little bit further push them as far as I can as long as it's still legal past the point where I would feel comfortable driving on snow with it but I'm like Push it a little further, that way we can do all the tires in one shot. Well, that kind of failed, didn't it? So, we're here in Grand Forks. We've got the new tire, new steer tires at Cal Tire. And then uh, hopefully we'll get the drive tires next weekend. The drive tires are still really good tires, so I'm, I'm fine with that. But the steers, they, they needed to be replaced. 
I already stretched those very close to the other service line. Definitely wouldn't have felt comfortable driving on ice with them. I would have been slow. So when you guys are passing big rigs, I've seen some YouTube videos of someone really close to the front of the hood and then turned in or a big rig turned into them. We can't feel you. We can't feel hitting you. And there's so much power, so much weight in these trucks. It doesn't make a difference pushing another car. So... Even if it's a trucker's fault, it's you that gets in trouble. Like my brother always says when riding motorcycle, even if I have the right of way, I'm the one that's dead, so give people room. So when you're riding a big rig, just give them room. The top of my uh, hood is seven feet, four inches. In front of my hood, imagine the angle that I can't see in front of me. You can hide a pickup in front of me. I've proven it because I parked my pickup in front of the truck and it disappears. So a whole pickup can be in my blind spot in front of my truck, not to count the ones beside me. And then the worst blind spot is on behind me on my right hand side. Can't see anything. Anything over there. I have convex mirrors which help me a lot. There's still a lot of blind spot. A lot of truckers don't have the convex mirrors. And they're driving blind. I would, I would be very uncomfortable driving without convex, convex mirror. phone doesn't want to sit properly in that holder. No, I didn't need a new phone, but I needed a new phone. So, my old phone it isn't garbage. The screen cracked on it a month ago or two. And this weekend, the phone decided cracked screen, no longer operating. No more touch screen on the phone. And smartphones, you need to have touch screen. Old. 
so I think it's about a year and a half old. I'm going to go pay the $500 to get the screen fixed. Jess's phone was on its last leg. We needed to either replace the battery on that or uh, get her a new phone. And so we were talking about getting a new battery for it. So now we'll just put her phone to the side as our backup phone. And uh, once uh, my old phone's fixed, she'll use that one. It's still an awesome phone. Um, I wanted her to have this phone, but we could get a much better deal if we put this on my contract instead of hers. I'm like, okay, if you're okay with having me my older phone, which is still awesome, um, we'll just switch phones. So I have a new contract, 40 gigs of data, um, unlimited US, so no more worrying about how much we're turning my phone off in the US to save. Save money. But when I say unlimited, I mean I can use the unlimited with any additional charges, but if I'm using the phone in the US, I'm using that 40 gigs. Uh, the whole cell phone bill is about a hundred bucks a month. Plus, I have to pay the cell, the cell phone off. And it's actually cheaper making payments on the phone than buying out right up front. So, I'll make payments on the phone and have another two year contract. So, yeah, didn't need the extra bill of replacing the screen on the uh, other phone. And we've gone to a couple of places that repair phones, and uh, this place that we went to, they're a little bit geeky and technical, and but they don't buy aftermarket parts. They buy the parts from the manufacturer wherever possible, so I'm getting original Sony screen put back, not Sony, Samsung screen put back on it. The reason it's $500 is because the back screen has been shattered since almost day two, and you can't take it apart to replace the front screen without destroying the back screen thanks to those cracks. So got to replace both, front and back. But, it was like a $2,000 phone, so... We were looking at, is it worth getting a new phone? It's only a year and a half old, or fixing it. It's like, okay, we'll fix it. it seems like the better thing to do. Even though it's excruciatingly expensive. We are headed west from Grand Forks, British Columbia. Beautiful lava, golden, or I guess molten golden trees here. Just gorgeous. how the uh, shoulder cam is right now. I'm looking at mounts. It's 150 bucks, give or take, for a, a lot more solid shoulder mount. But I'm afraid they're too big. It would take up too much of the window. So I'm going to have to do some research and see how big it is. It's got three suction cups instead of one. 
And if it's small enough, I'm going to go by that mount and see if we can get steadier, steadier video. But I did buy weights for this camera, so it's got quite a bit of weight hanging off of it, which should make the camera a little steadier without having to hang a water bottle on it. The last two weeks I've had a water bottle hanging off of it, and that kind of sucked. Because the water bottle would always be hitting my shoulder. sending out Morse code. Definitely a wiring issue there. vibration in these steers, so that's good. They're Firestones. Didn't have any Michelins in stock. Usually like to go with Michelins, but we'll see. The Firestones lasted me 82,000 kilometers. Some people uh, would say that's really, really, really bad. Some people would say that's not bad. That's pretty good. We're always turning. There's, we're always in corners with heavy loads. Steer tires for me last usually half a year to three quarters of a year. I'll never make it a year on steer tires. There's some guys that run prairies that two years on a steer set of steer, steer tires. I am a fairly aggressive driver. I always have. It's something I can not untrain myself. If the corner sign says 70, I'll be doing 70. On one step reaction. 
know a lot of guys drive a lot slower around corners than I do, but I do them safely, make sure I'm safe, but it does probably wear a little more on the tires. Love these gold trees. Glad that the wind hasn't blown all the leaves off yet. They're lasting a little longer this year. Some years they only last a few days. This year they're getting quite a quite a few days of gold in here. A few weeks. new phone does not have a case for it yet, which is very concerning. That's how I cracked my first phone within a few days. I didn't have a case for it right away. We ordered a really nice case for it, but it's on the way. It does have a screen protector on it. I just wasn't willing to spend 20 bucks on a cheap case in the store. I can spend 30 bucks for a really nice high-end case online. Just gonna have to be really, really careful this week. Remind myself, keep it out of my pockets when I'm outside working. Just leave it in the truck. postcards here oh yeah I guess if you guys play this at 4k the hood cam and pause it you guys can take good screenshots of uh, some beautiful scenery this way I know some of you guys do that and that was at 1080 4k some good screenshots in this. Hey, I legally own those those photos. Don't don't go start selling those photos and making money off of them. Because somebody will. But please don't. I've, had, I've seen some of my stuff show up already, it's like, oh uh, yeah, that's illegal use of my stuff. But I've uh, got some legal use of my stuff too, where they contact me, we sign a contract, and they use my videos on, the, on their stuff, so. Some Japanese TV show is using my stuff. Uh, there's a TV show in Europe that's using my stuff. Actually, they're, they're both using Spotted Lake videos.
this just wave. You should wave at everyone and I'm dropping the ball. Coming into Greenwood here. And like I said in the last couple of videos, too bad about the rain because if the sun was shining in behind us, everything would be just beautiful molten golden red or yellow. It's mostly yellow. I don't know why I keep saying red, but guess what? Today we have the sun kind of behind, beside us, and it's just beautiful. So I'm headed to Tacoma. <clears throat> I could do quite a large detour in Ellensburg and fuel up. I guess it'd be better just to do the smaller detour here and I saw you just top off. I don't need fuel yet, but just top off. I'm at three quarters of the tank. Might be the way to do it. Then I don't have to worry about doing a bigger detour later on. Oh wait! There's a Pacific Pride at uh, Klee Elm. I can just fill up there and that's not much of a detour. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do that. Saves us and that's, yeah, that's not a bigger detour than Soyuz. safe place to pass. Like I said, I don't have a problem with people speeding. You can go do your thing, just do it safely. Pass, pass, pass a bit safely. If you're going to do it safely, I'm not going to complain. Well, I might complain, but I should. Fields here still have white with frost on them. Celsius out now.
Greenwood Tunnel. Let's drive into the sun for a bit. The sun stays really low on the horizon this time of year. It just kind of pops out at the southeast and then just kind of follows the horizon around the south side and then disappears southwest. stoves burning. People are heating with fire. Wood burning stoves. Fire burning? Wood burning. Yeah, wood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go with a sleeper on it. Chip truck with a sleeper on it. Shortage of trucks out there, right? So buy what they can. There's a uh, RC uh, racetrack there, and somebody went and vandalized the whole thing and broke all the fences down. Did a lot of damage. the residents complain that people speed through this town because if uh, I do speed limit through the town it feels too fast. On a day like this where it's nice and slow you can do about 40 through that section but when it's busy you're doing 20-30.
next stop is Midway. Just to drive to Greenwood here today or tomorrow. Whenever she heads out, it's just so beautiful. She wants to go and take some pictures of fall colors. I think this would be the place to go. accents around these corners quite often. Usually the next corner here uh, catches big rigs off guard and they uh, make the uh, right hand turn all right but too fast hold on over correct and then the immediate left turn they end up smashing into the side of the cliff. after rolling over. You see all the black lines halfway through the corner and say, yep, you're all going too fast. They're usually laying over here on their side. 
blocking the whole highway. I've been trucking for four years now and it's hard not to be complacent because I know these roads pretty darn well. So I keep telling myself, pay attention to the signs. A lot of guys roll over within, once they're comfortable with the road, that's, that's when they roll over. Or when they're rookie like me, I rolled one over the first winter, right? Got pictures of that on book face from like four years ago. Like three and a half years ago, but yeah. Rolled one into the ditch. So now I have to make sure I don't become complacent and roll another one in the ditch. top center of gravity. You gotta be careful. I mean you gotta be careful with this too, but you gotta be even more careful. This is Midway. I must be sleeping on the on the road because it's not really speeding up. There we go, he's speeding up now. mill here, Fog and Bro, uh, Canada. And right next to it, almost like in the same yard, there's a Eco Chips wood chip company, which is owned by the Greater Sutco Sutherland family. Sutherland Group. So I guess I work for the Sutherland Group. Sutco is just a branch of the Sutherland Group. So, yeah, all those wood chip 
those piles you see over there. We're on the same theme. Can't really see them, but they're, they're down there. scale now has a rest area. Another corner that truck's rolled over. Bus truck drivers. It's a popular place to uh, park overnight. Uh, we have at least one Sunco driver parked there almost every night. And uh, the Eco Chips has a restroom, like a porta potty, down the hill. So he go down the hill there and use a restroom. I've taken advantage of that a couple of times. But not having one at the top here, that'll be good. Pit toilet, but hey, we'll take a pit toilet.
I saw yellow leaves here. Everything here is evergreens. As we approach uh, Rock Creek. I was just thinking, I'm trying to figure out why some videos um, take out a lot of the truck noise and other videos don't when I'm using the same microphone, same camera. The Sony, the microphone is just there. But I wonder if the DJI, I believe I have wind reduction on and it thinks the truck sound is wind. And it's trying to cut it out. I'm gonna look into that. I know some of you guys, you guys don't want to hear the truck, you don't want to hear the spooling of the uh, turbo, you don't want to hear all of that. But a lot of people do, so it's good to keep some of that in the background. As long as you guys can clearly hear me. You don't want the truck engine noise overwhelming what I'm saying. Rock Creek. Oh wait, we need a detour in Osoyas anyway to retorque these uh, steer tires. Might as well fuel up in a, never mind, change my mind now. I, I want to fuel up in Osoyas after all. Because the place that does a retorque is really close to the fuel station. in this video. I have been showing off these towns recently, so hopefully next time I remember to uh, shoot uh, going over Anarchist. This is just the beginning of the climb over here. Climb up and over Anarchist into uh, Soyuz. And I think we'll call it a day here, so Thank you guys for watching. I noticed uh, there's a bunch of you new subscribers trickling in. Thank you so much. Also, a huge thanks to all the uh, people that hit that join button down below. That's what's making these videos possible. That's what's making it possible to buy the new camera. Increasing our quality of the videos by a lot. Just go to a video I shot four years ago, or even older than that. Yeah, they kind of suck.
Well, guys, I am out of here. You guys rock. This video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members. Cookie starts with C. What other things start with C? Oh, who cares what other things? C is for Cookie, and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Thank <laughs> you.